The subject of ten is based on everyday life. Undoubtedly, many serious viewers, as well as some critics, mainly the advocates of modern cinema, will find such a subject dull. It's not surprising that cinema is always a captive of the natural need to tell stories. We're accustomed, or rather we've been made accustomed to only accepting reality within the framework of a story so that it can be exciting or moving. This is the same ancient style used by the storyteller Shahrazad in her tale of the king who used to murder his guests. But I don't believe the job of a filmmaker is to excite or move the viewer merely through creating special moments. By simply showing the reality, one can make people think about their own and other people's acts or behavior and see and accept reality as it is. It's from this point that the viewer's duty to complete a work or a film begins. The viewer must be enticed into reflection on himself and the surrounding world. The combination of the filmmaker's and viewer's mind creates a film which will be more durable, original, and fruitful than a film which merely aims at telling a story and impressing the viewer. This is the most essential difference between this kind of cinema and that of Hollywood. In this kind of cinema, the most important subject matter is human beings and their souls. In this kind of cinema, man and his complex inner problems comprise the most important material. Whereas in presently fashionable cinema, techniques, special effects, and exciting stories are considered more important. With its endless thirst for reality and truth, the kind of cinema I uphold never has any shortcomings of subject. As Zavatini says, the first person who passes by could be the subject of your film. The presence of millions of people with millions of problems is an unlimited source of subject matter for this kind of cinema. In my opinion, it will never come across a crisis and will never be short of subjects.